Who was Keith Jackson to people who uh, might not know? Well, I think what you saw on the air on Saturday afternoons is what Keith Jackson really was off the air the rest of the week. He was a very humble man, very modest man. He grew up in the um, country in the state of Georgia. Um, people say, whoa, Nelly, what do that was – so where did Nelly come from? And I asked Keith that myself. I, you know, about four or five years into this, I said to, I said, Keith, where is Nelly? Well, how'd you get whoa, Nelly? And he said, Nelly was my horse, Grease. <laughs> <laughs> back in, back on the farm, he had a horse by the name of Nelly, and uh, when uh, he started broadcasting, uh, when some big play would happen. <laughs> Uh, that that Nelly just came out with uh, behind the woe, and uh, uh, that's that's how it, that's how it got out there. But he <laughs> but he was a he was a um, he was an ex marine. A lot of people don't know that he uh, went out of high school into the Marines. He said he lied about his age to get in. Uh, after he got out of the Marines, he went to Washington State University, the Edward R. Murrow School of Broadcasting. Uh, when he went uh, after there, he went to um, Seattle and uh, went into the um, sports reporting business uh, in Seattle and then uh, got on with ABC. And uh, as they say, the rest is history. And then part of that history of you calling games with him, Bob, was that day in the Rose Bowl where your son's playing for Michigan and then his alma mater's out there on the field, too. What was that broadcast like? <laughs> All year. All year, he'd been kind of, uh, kind of laughing and smirking in the background while I answered all these questions about, you know, calling a fair game and my son's playing and all this other stuff. And now the Rose Bowl game, his alma mater, Washington State's in the game, and all these questions are directed at him. Hey, Steve, Keith, are you going to call a fair game and all that stuff? <laughs> but. Um, the most memorable moment in my broadcasting career, um, most memorable moment in my playing career, everybody asks you these questions, was um, winning the Super Bowl um, after the 17-0 and season and going undefeated. And the most memorable moment in my broadcasting career was that Rose Bowl game, um, Michigan undefeated, they're ranked number one in the country and playing Washington State, who had a great quarterback by the name of Ryan Leaf. Peyton Manning was at Tennessee that year. Ryan Leaf was the number two quarterback, and Brian was somewhere down the line. Brian's a quarterback at Michigan. If Michigan wins as a national champion. And so Brian has a pretty good game. We got about 15 seconds left in the, uh, the Rose Bowl game. Michigan's going to win. And the assistant there with hand sticks her arm uh, and hands a five by seven file card between my shoulder and Keith's shoulder, and he takes it. And I said, "Well, it must be a promo or a lead to a commercial or something." Keith holds on to it for about fifteen seconds, and then he says, "Oh, Nelly, you want to know who the MVP is? I'm standing right next to his proud daddy." <laughs> I said, I said, Keith, you better take it from here because I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.